be going over how I went through and turned this Lockbee Field Notebook cover into a Supernote uh, Nomad cover. Um, so a friend of mine got a Supernote as well and told her that we would go through and show how to, we took the case and attached the magnets to it and gave it a little bit of back support as well. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to do. I hope you find this helpful. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go over how I turned a Lockbee Field notebook cover into a Super Note Nomad case. So obviously you're going to need some of these things. Some of these are just helpful. You don't necessarily have to have them like the roto cutter thingy. You don't necessarily have to have one of those, but they do make it a lot easier. So I have a magnet kit from Super Note. You got a little piece of sheet aluminum that I found at a local hardware store. They're pretty cheap. They're like two bucks. Got the Lockbee notebook and some other things that I found. I just had a cover for a, um, a uh, battle board actually that I had that I didn't really use anymore. So this plastic actually worked really good to go inside of the felt that I used as the cover. Um, and that just gave it a little bit of stability and support, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. And also gives you a place to attach the magnet. Uh, some tools that I used when doing this that were helpful that I found, again, you don't necessarily have to use these, but my Dremel uh, with a little metal cutting blade and a sewing machine. So with the help of my very beautiful and patient, lovely wife, we're going to get into putting this together for you. What you want to start is you want to take the piece of sheet metal. You need to mark it so you can cut it to the appropriate length. So just go a little bit shorter, at least this is the way I did it. Just go a little bit shorter than the inside seam. Then you want to do the same on the bottom. And so you want to kind of get to where you have just a little bit of a margin-ish. And then you want it straight, which is where my perfection wife is coming in. And then just draw your line like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my Dremel. I won't video that part. I'm going to cut it with the line there and then I'm going to take a little sanding bit I have and I'll round out the edges. I also will round out the edges on this side so that they're not sharp and poking through the fabric and potentially going to rip it. I'm going to get the so felt cut and get lined up so that we can make the cover that will help protect the screen and also like I said I have the magnet in here that will activate it and deactivate it all that good stuff. Um, and because my wife is helping with this one so that it will actually come out right um, see, I was impatient when I made mine, and uh, I uh, watched a YouTube video trying to figure out how to use a sewing machine. And so, as you can see, my, my sewing is a little off. And since we're doing this for a frame, we're going to make it a little bit better. All right, so now we've got this here piece of aluminum cut. And like I said, you know, round it out the edges. That way it won't poke through the fabric and hopefully not damage the uh, liner there. And also went ahead and sanded just a little bit where there are some lips and things like that just to kind of uh, smooth that out. Uh, we've got our felt cut. And so it's cut where you can fold it over. And as you can maybe see, it is just barely bigger than the Super Note itself. And so our next step is going to be to cut the clear plastic. It doesn't have to be clear, any color, because all we're going to do is make it just a little bit smaller than the felt so it can go in there and give us one something to give a little bit of uh, stiffness to the felt and a place to put the magnet that will wake the super note. Okay, so now we've got the felt cut, we've got the plastic cut. Went ahead and I put the magnet on here. Now I'm just gonna show you this real quick. I marked this, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I put a little T on there, uh, just to show the top. And so the reason for that is because the magnet, in order to get it to activate the super note, is directional. So you have to make sure that you have the right side facing down, otherwise, it's not going to work and you do want it to be lined up with kind of where the power light is whenever you plug it in you want it to be kind of lined up in that area in order to get it to activate and deactivate that wake option so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put this in here and it will stitch this together 
One other thing I did on my first one is I uh, did put some tape on here just to keep that from shifting. So I'm going to put some tape. It wasn't anything special. I just used painter's tape. So you can use probably just about anything, but I'll probably use painter's tape again. That way that doesn't move. And then we'll get this uh, sewn in here. And you want to make sure when you sew it that you leave the edges open because whenever you get ready to feed this cord in here, you need to be able to access the, to shove the cord in. All right. Okay, so uh, we've already sewn this and I fed the cord through. So now what we're gonna do is, my wife's gonna put a whip stitch around the edges here just to kinda tighten it up, make it look a little better. Um, that way it's not so loose here. We're at the so. point where we're getting ready to add the plate in so that we can add the magnets and all that good stuff. So what I found on the first one that I made <clears throat> is if you line the super note up with the edge of this seam, it actually fits in here quite nice and a good little, um, you know, good little fit. Anyway, so I took the magnets and I put them on here upside down or not upside down, put them on here, you know, so that you can see how they kind of line up. And then we've marked, and I'm going to move the super note in just a second, but we marked the full length or the full width of the magnet on the paper or on the uh, back of the case. So when you move this, hope it shows on the video because it is kind of faint. We just used a pencil. There's a line right here and right here marking, you know, exactly where we want the magnets to sit. So that way, what we're going to do is we're going to take the magnet, put it under here, and line it up with that line. And then we're going to mark where the holes are for the screws. <clears throat> and then we're going to cut little holes for the screws. All right, so we've got the holes cut here now and here for the magnets to sit in here. Um, on the back of the magnet, just to go ahead and point this out, uh, you do have these little bit of raised areas where the screws go in. So you have to make sure you cut the holes big enough that those will fit through. And then what we'll do is we'll slide this here and then we line it up, get it where we want it. And once we got that figured out, we'll take a Sharpie and we will just mark the screw holes. And again, when you go to drill this or cut these holes, you want to make sure that you do cut these big enough that that little raised area of the magnet fits through the holes. Okay, so we got the holes uh, put in here. And, uh, you know, this is only the second one I've made, so we had a slight uh, adjustment that had to be made at these top holes, but I think we'll end up all right. So what I do once I get the holes cut is put the magnets on the super note and then just attach this just to make sure everything's going to line up good. Uh, another little thing that I do is, as you can see here, I went ahead and sanded down uh, where the holes were drilled. That way there's nothing that's going to catch on the inside of the case. Anyway, so it looks like everything's going to line up good. I still think our holes should be all right with the size of the screws with those extra wide heads that they send. So now we're going to um, put this in the case. So we have the plate added and the magnets all are in there. Uh, just to give you a little heads up, what I have found uh, works really good is one, if you get the screw on the inside, the fire step away from you, if you get that one, just push it through, take the magnet and start it by spinning the magnet. And then once you get it on there, good, stop. And then that gives you a little bit closer room to work with to put a second magnet in. Second thing is I have this uh, little bit here. It is a, I uh, just saw the numbers, a PH00, so a Phillips head 00. That fits these screws perfect, and if you have just the bit, you can get it in there and tighten it up. So we have that lined up. Then we took our, our uh, felt pad here at the bands, ran them through, uh, and tied them off, and then cut the ends. I found with my first one, I tried to do this kind of loose to make sure it could reach over, but I actually learned after doing it for a little bit it worked out better to have these strings really tight. So I cinched these down to go ahead and get them tight. And then also on mine, I cut the pin loop off, but um, the pin loop that comes on these actually fits the Supernote Heart of Metal 2 pins. So you don't have to worry about that not fitting. 
anyway but it uh, works so you can close it and then as you can see whenever you open it it wakes it so we uh, we have a successful uh, little project here I think it all went relatively smooth again